Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Virgo, let's see what's the message here for you today. And yes, these are general collective readings. Uh, Virgo may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right. Virgo, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies etc. If this is your reading Virgo, you know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, for me this is person A and this is person B. Bottom of my deck, three of pentacles. Was this uh, a third party situation? I always ask that in Virgo readings and they always do show up for some reason. I, I have a feeling um, maybe somebody was already in a marriage or a commitment but they thought they could get away with whatever they wanted. They, it was their way or the highway or they just felt uh, entitled. I'm almost getting entitled to have what I want. The other person wanted maybe something that was fair, that was equal, that was uh, balanced. So, I don't know. Let's see what's happening here then. They, they do seem to feel that things are stuck and maybe they got their heart broken because they really expected pers the other person to do right for them or right by them. So, let's see. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Virgo. But first, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then we're going to clarify these. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and their person. All right, let's take a few more Virgo from another deck. Virgo and their person. Virgo and their person. One more, okay. All right, just a few more Virgo from a third deck as well and then we'll start the reading. Virgo, oops, and that person. All right, good to go. All right. Okay, so Virgo, uh, and, and if you're looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. The first one here says, I've never experienced a love and a connection like this before. Please don't give up on me. Sometimes I wish I had never even met you. There is no one in the world as amazing as you. I'm overwhelmed with obligations. I would be honored to have a family with you. I feared you were more obsessed with me rather than in love. It felt suffocating sometimes. I'm deeply sorry that I walked away from you. I am shutting you out. Recovery takes time. Please have faith in me. I'm not your prince and you're not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. You changed up and that triggers me. I feel so alone. Why did you abandon me? I still have your pictures on my phone. Just say something to me. Okay. So Virgo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Steady progress, Virgo. Keep moving. Keep whatever you're doing. Just keep making, um, making your strides forward because there is steady progress ahead of you. This could be focusing on your health, wealth, happiness, maybe a new project or maybe just taking care of yourself, right? So keep making steady progress. Do not digress. Do not go backwards into feeling... Um, 
why, what they should have, I should have, keep moving forward into making steady progress in your own life. Okay, so let's start the reading and figure out what's happening in this situation. Um, what's the Ten of Cups? Okay, <laughs> Virgo, newcomers, I'm just reading two soul energies here. I don't know which side you're on, okay? So if this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up uh, which side you belong to. For me, this is just person A and person B here. Uh, right now, I'm focusing only on person A. So person A, Ten of Cups. I think person A also felt that this was this connection, you know, could go the long haul and maybe could make them very happy. Maybe they felt that they were, uh, you know, maybe in their dream world or their fantasy, they always envisioned a connection like this. But... But the other, I think they made the other person feel like they were just an option in their life. They made the person feel that, uh, you know, it was, you know, giving, giving, giving promises of a ten of cups where it was all, only one-sided or one person wanted to have what they wanted. Maybe this person was all, already in a connection. Maybe they are recognizing, yeah, my person withdrew their energy because I was treating them like an option. No wonder the other person is no longer wanting to work with me or, you know, interact with me or they don't see a future with me. Uh, they, feel, uh, they feel that that person is given up on them. Five of Swords, Five of Swords, what's the Five of Swords? Yeah, I think this person thought that they could get away with uh, uh, maybe just treating person B as an option or friends with benefits or something like that. Person A really thought that, you know, it was going to happen the way they wanted things to be. Like I can have this, that and the other and a piece of cake on the side. Um, but... Uh, I think they've recognized that this other person has turned their back on them because of their the illusion of I can have it all. I can have I can have all the happiness and I can have, have it on my terms. So tell me what happened, person A, you tell me, tell me more. The moon. What's the moon? They had a secret. I think this person was keeping secrets that they were already maybe in another connection which were, could have been a long-term marriage or a commitment somewhere, that they had a secret. That maybe there was an argument or a fight regarding that. Some words could have been exchanged. Or maybe they were in a connection, which maybe they gave the impression that, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. I, I, feel, I feel they kept it a secret that they were already in a happily ever after situation and a fight could have broken out between the two of you. Uh, that the person is very frustrated now. They're very, very frustrated because they feel now they've lost out on a chance with person B, who they saw maybe as a very good friend or a soulmate and now that they, they feel I've ruined things with them. Uh, whoever person A is, they are very, very trapped and very stressed right now. They feel trapped in a situation, trapped in their mind, not understanding what to do. Mm. <laughs> eight of Swords, I shouldn't laugh. Eight of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Swords. This is a kind of uh, stress and tension. Maybe this person is stuck in a long-term partnership already. And even though they recognize the other person to be a soulmate or somebody they wanted to be with, they couldn't invest and now they are disappointed. Very, very disappointed because... They wanted this, big time. Am I right, person A? Yep, I think they got blocked off now. Things have come to a standstill because of this revelation of the secrets that they had already or mm, the other person didn't want to play and just be an option in their life. Okay, person A, so tell me, how do you feel about the connection now? How do you see person B? How do you feel about the connection? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They feel that they feel that they took too long. Uh, they do want to now do the right thing. They do want to show back up and um, you know say, okay, I will do right by you. Or they want, the, like one of the cards said, I want to be your emperor and you are my empress. Maybe in the past, uh, this person thought that they could get away with 
not making the other person feel important but they've come to the conclusion that no i do want to you know take control take charge of the situation the only problem is they feel they delayed it for too long they delayed it for too long they are now feeling that the other person has totally given up on them they won't be interested anymore they feel that the other person is absolutely holding back from them not giving off their energy anymore and uh, yeah just uh, withdraw withdrawn from their from them yeah and that's making person they feel very depressed and very very sad uh, they still do see person b as their happiness they do but uh, they feel because they they delayed it for so long and the secrets are now out uh, person b is not interested anymore or they are holding back from them not waiting around for them anymore uh, looking very happy in their own life and making all their own dreams and wishes come true it's like person a feels person b is kind of given up on me now that they know what they know they are not interested anymore and they've pulled away from me and you know that's it so yeah they feel person b has moved on maybe maybe moving towards a new love or something or maybe they've already found new love in their life and that's kind of really burdening person a to feel oh my god i was the one juggling and now i'm the one who's dropped right so let's see what uh, action person a will take but this card i'm going to open later virgo uh, first i'm going to go to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b let's talk to you now in your feelings i have the justice card what's that what's the justice card yeah person b feels i need somebody to be honest with me i am looking for an honest partner who will do right by this connection who will do right by not this connection with a connection with me and be balanced and fair otherwise you know if they can't even be telling me the truth or you know doing right by me then why am i taking stress why am i losing you know sleep and being anxious and being alone in a connection well i'm i will you know privately we are together but publicly i'm always by myself i am not going to deal with anyone who can't be honest and forthright with me i i i'm adamant that i either want something totally fair balanced where i pour into you you pour into me and you know we can have a happily ever after or full stop i'm not interested i'm not interested in a connection which is not going to be fair right person b yeah person b says no i'm not going to feel like i'm always on the outside you know feeling left out in the cold while they are with so and so so and so and i'm always feeling abandoned and left out uh uh i'm not one of those people om kara taro i'm getting myself out of this connection because i never ever want to feel like i am the third wheel or something or fifth or eighth or whatever so person b uh tell me more what happened nine of wands what's the nine of wands yeah person b i think protected themselves from feeling like a third party uh, connection it's like yeah i'm i put my guard up right i protected myself because either they work on this connection with me one on one and if they can't then i'm not going to work with them either because for me this doesn't work i'm not going to be just an option in their life yeah the person b says they didn't put in any work to make this uh, you know a stable connection so yes i did move on i shut this door and i'm starting a brand new chapter of my life world what's the world yeah person uh, b i think has lost hope of the return of this connection now is like what's the point in returning when none of my dreams and wishes will come true in fact person b may have stopped uh, actively you know even messaging or communicating uh, there is no new start there's no new journey between the two of us what's the point i might as well shut this out person b doesn't want to return back to a situation where they feel and know that their biggest wish which is a wish for partnership equal give and take is not going to come true 
Okay, so person B, tell me, how do you feel about the connection now? How do you feel about person A and how do you feel about the situation? Three of Swords. What's the Three of Swords? You got your heart broken? Yeah, person B says they, they ended up being a trickster. They were trying to just show me illusions when they had nothing to offer. They had no... Uh, stability or they were not coming forward with you know any kind of commitment uh, maybe person B found out that they were already in a connection or a marriage and um, person B feels they just they just broke my heart Omkara Taro and um, I have kind of given up the hope that there can be anything between us uh, any kind of passion I mean I've lost my zest for this connection because because of the hurt they caused me by tricking me into making me believe we could be more than you know we could be so I, I, I see them as a trickster who was just you know uh, wheel of fortune in reverse wheel of fortune in reverse yeah person B says I'm stopping the cycle here and now of, of you know anyone trying to get away with you know what they want or treating me like a secret or lies or deception or cheating behavior I am putting a spoke in that wheel of fortune here and now right now I'm moving forward I'm getting onto my little boat I'm moving on to find my own peace and harmony because I know what I deserve I know that I deserve a balanced connection an 11-11, do you bring me two wands, I have my two wands and then we can build together something stable for the future. So person B is saying, yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of this. I know what I deserve and I'm going to go after it. Well done person B, whoever you are, Virgo or the cross watcher. Uh, you will be rewarded for this and no wonder the steady progress card has come. So let's see. I'm going to now do the action cards Virgo and as always now request you, remind you if you could just tap the like button for me please. Well it's said that the video starts circulating more after there are more likes but in reality it just makes me feel very happy to know how many of you I actually connect with and whom you know appreciate the readings and uh, newcomers, repeating viewers the ones who haven't subscribed already um, it's free for you to do so all you have to do is tap the subscribe button and become part of us we welcome you to the omkara family welcome okay now we start with the action cards virgo starting with person a so person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise seven of pentacles this person is still sitting in their disappointment Am I right? Clarify the seven of pentacles for me, please, person A. Why are you disappointed? The devil, queen of wands, the tower, eight of wands and the eight of cups. They are disappointed because uh, they had a lot of attraction, a lot of attraction for the other person. They saw this as the perfect match like I'm attracted to you, you are attracted to me, this could be maybe passion or sex or you know excitement that they felt. It was like uh, their, you know it was like a lightning bolt in their life I think when they met person B and felt uh, you know that this is it. You know we match perfectly but then there was some communication, uh, maybe something came to light. That's what, dis that's what led to disappointment because after this communication they feel that their person walked away from them because they had nothing to offer. Only passion was not good enough for the other person. Maybe person A thought, hey, you know, I excite you, you excite me, we are so perfect together but then everything hell <laughs> broke loose. Um, because of that communication which led to maybe that person saying you know what if there are no emotions here then I'm not interested now they're sitting in disappointment either they can't invest or they didn't invest or I don't know what so they're just sitting in their disappointment at the moment so person B what about you action from your end towards person A or otherwise Ace of Pentacles, yeah, 
exactly what I've been saying till now. Person B says, what's the point if they're not ready to invest even one pentacle, you know, and that can grow to the ten of pentacles. I mean, I'm not interested. I want something stable. I want some offer that makes me feel, yes, you and I together can grow from this one pentacle, make it a long-lasting connection. I'm not interested. Ace of... Uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles wanted to show face, which is a lying, cheating card. So, strength, beautiful. Ooh, Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, Chariot, absolutely. Uh, person A is uh, gathering up their courage. They're gathering up their courage. They, this is a strong, strong individual who recognized that uh, maybe that person was in it only for the short time, I mean, for fun and not for a long time kind of a thing. Person A says no. Person A says no. I know what I deserve. I only want to move forward now in my life towards somebody who I can grow old with. I want a long-lasting connection. And um, yes, person A could be maybe meeting new people or just spending time with friends and family, gather up, they are gathering up their courage and uh, not dealing with anyone who brings them less than what they deserve. Do want a knight of wands bringing passion into my life? No. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Till next time then Virgo, love and light. Take care. Namaste.